What's going on guys? Astro with Hidden Profits Crypto, a channel focused on bringing the best low cap hidden gems and turning you on a smart risk, high reward investor. Today we're going to be taking a very quick look at how you can send KDA cross chains in the Zellcor wallet. Now the reason you might want to be able to do this is because say you have a project that's building on chain 3 and all your funds are on chain 1. To be able to do what you need to do, you need to be able to access those funds. So we're going to show you how you can send some KDA from for example, say chain one over to chain three or any other chain, depending on whatever it is that you need to access. So uh, very easy, very simple tutorial. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. So here we are at the Zellcor wallet. So uh, first off, you're going to want to make sure that you're selected on the chain that has your funds, which is in this example going to be chain one. You can see here I have one KDA. Uh, so the chain that I'm going to want to send to is chain two. And you can see here that I don't have any funds on here. So what we're going to want to do first is go to the chain that has your funds and you're going to want to click receive. Uh, and then here you're going to want to go ahead and click and get your account address. After you do that, go ahead and go to send. And then you're going to want to paste your account right here in the destination account. Uh, and this is, you know, the account that you already have your funds. You're just basically transferring uh, from one chain to another. So um, we're going to go ahead and put in the amount that I want to send here. I'm going to do a half a KDA just for testing purposes. Uh, and then I'm going to select the chain that I want to send to. Now, once you select that chain, you're going to go ahead and you're going to see this little warning down here at the bottom that basically says that you're going to be making a cross chain transfer uh, it'll show which two chains you're transferring and then it says that it can take up to four minutes uh, and may result in failure uh, depending on the public gas station faucet operation so um, once you read through that everything is good go ahead and click send and then yes send and now, like they said, this will take a little bit of time. So uh, just kind of chill here, wait, give it a minute. And uh, once it's ready, you will see that it's sent successfully. All right. So now you can see here that that amount that we sent actually came out of the total. And now you can see that the transaction is sent. So, you know, if you want to, you can look at it in the block explorer if you would like to, but we're not going to, we're going to go ahead and exit out here. Uh, so basically now you should be good. Uh, if you want to go ahead and make sure that the funds are where they should be, uh, go ahead and click on whichever chain it is that you sent to. Uh, and now it might not show up right away. So I would suggest kind of just giving it a second and then uh, go ahead and refresh it by kind of just clicking on your portfolio and coming back into this account and it should show up. All right. So after giving it a minute, you can see here that the funds, the half a KDA is in my chain to wallet. So now whatever it is that I wanted to use um, that's on chain two, I should be able to have some access to funds. So uh, it's a very simple and easy tutorial on how to send KDA cross chain uh, in Zellcor. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to send funds across chains in Zellcor wallet. Uh, it's like I said, Said, very very simple um, but I know that there can be some confusion if you've never done it before uh, where to access it and how exactly to do it uh, and when it comes to sending money across different things I know people always have an anxiety of doing something wrong and losing your funds so uh, if this video helped you out make sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below also make sure to subscribe and tick that notification bell for future content similar to this you can follow me at hidden underscore crypto on Twitter if you want to follow me even more in depth and all my other social links will be in the link tree link in the description. Anyways, uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.